my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Do you have an idea what is inside of this bag? Right now, guys, I'm about to do a live unboxing with you before this comic book review. So, if you want to see some tights on my body, well, Oh, yeah. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Let's put it on. Well, all right. That looks pretty good. You know, this suit is fantastic. I love the way it feels. Um, you know, I'll definitely post the seller that I got this from. But, man, I love this suit. And I also got the, the same... The same, uh, I bought from the same seller for my PS4 Insomniac Spider-Man suit. So the quality is just fantastic. It feels great, looks great. I love it, I dig it. It is spectacular. Guys, I'm so happy I was able to share my little unboxing with you. Now, without further ado, you already know how I do. I talk about the good, the bad, and the nerdy when it comes to these comic books. So let's get into the amazing Spider-Man number 16 review. In this book, we get time with Felicia Hardy slash Black Cat. We get these flashback moments between her and Spider-Man dating and patrolling together in the past. In this book, we also get more reasoning to why Black Cat not too long ago became the underground kingpin, you know, of the underground, you know, crime world. So we get a little more backstory to what drove her there, which I thought was really interesting. When Spider-Man had Doctor Strange erase everyone's memory in the world of who, you know, Peter Parker was, you know, the, it also erased Black Cat's memory of the person that she loved which is Spider-Man, so she no longer could put a face to the person that she really loved. And that really messed with her mentally and drove her to do some crazy stuff. Overall in this book, Black Cat, she pretty much gets caught up in like an ambush. And in the middle of that, she's trying to help Dr. Kirk Connor's son, Billy, until she gets apprehended by the Taskmaster and Black Ant. Who will we come back to very soon? I, I'm not finished with them. I do want to touch back on those characters here very soon. Now, getting into the bad of this comic. Honestly, I really don't have anything to like bad to say about this comic, but I do have an idea that's put into my mind, and this was kind of birthed from you know the Insomniac PS4 game. I think it would have been cool if they made this a reality where Spider-Man and Black Cat actually had a kid that Peter just didn't know about. And when Black Cat lost her memories of, you know, Peter's identity, maybe like whereabouts of this, you know, love child were lost as well, something like that. I don't know, just when they did that storyline, if you guys know what I'm talking about, those of you who have a PS4 and you're so graciously playing that Spider-Man game, you probably understand what I'm saying. I think that would have been a cool reality if they actually did that or if they are to adapt that in the comics. I think that would make for some interesting storytelling down the road. Let me know what you guys think. And now, getting into the lowdown, dirty and nerdy. Let me just say, I like this duo between Taskmaster and Black Ant. Both of them are ex-Shield agents, and honestly, I'm curious kind of what their motivations are behind, you know, capturing all these superpower beings. Besides the fact of Kraven the Hunter paying them. Also, I'm curious and I want to see what Billy, Dr. Connor's, you know, son can do. The little lizard. Seems like there's some potential there. And I can almost see Spider-Man almost being like a mentor to this character. As, you know, like he's like a young upcoming hero. It, you know, it just seems like they're definitely pushing towards something. And I'm, I want to see what they're going to do with this character. It seems really interesting nonetheless. Also, you know, I touched on this last issue. And, you know, it's very similar in, in this book as well, where they only showed Spider-Man at the very end of this book. And mind you, this is a Spider-Man comic book, but I was okay with that because of the direction of the story. I honestly feel like these Spider-Man books are picking up into more of an exciting pace, where at a certain point, that was honestly lost for the Spider-Man comic books. For those who have been reading for a while, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about, where it just wasn't as refreshing. And I feel like now we're in a place where it's like, okay, you kind of want to pay attention, you know, to what's going on. You, you kind of want to dig into the story a little bit. It seems to be a little more enjoyable as you're reading through. Um, that, that's just kind of what I've been feeling over the last few issues. I'm, I'm a bit curious to hear how you guys feel and if we bleed the same, but nonetheless, that's just kind of the, the perception that I have over the last few issues. It seems to be more engaging. And again, you know, that, that's due to new writing. That's due to new people who are behind the team as well. Also, if you are new to my channel, let me, let me just tell you what to do. I'm gonna tell you what to do right now, okay? 
What, what are you doing? Subscribe right now. There's, there's no time to wait. I got videos coming out every weekend. So you better subscribe right now so you don't miss my videos, man. You don't want to miss them every weekend. Hey, I love y'all. Thank you so very much for watching. If you've read this comic, for real, comment and let me know what you think. What are your predictions for this whole hunted storyline that's going on? I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see Craven the Hunter back from the dead. Like, that's crazy. Um, so please comment below. Let me know. And for real, if you are new, please do subscribe. Support your boy. I really, really do appreciate y'all. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Or should I say, thwip.